Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Hey guys, welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. And we left off at a different part. We stopped at the door, but when I brought came back to the game, it just gave us straight into a cutscene. And now we have to make this choice. So, Toad or Lawrence? I feel like Toad, since it's happening now, Lawrence is, doesn't really look at really good over there. So let's go to Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Also guys, I would just like to say that I think I'm going- Ooh, new achievement. I think I'm going to make it so that these episodes go for an hour or so. Just so we can get through the and we game ended fast. Up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Boy. I didn't get to when say anything. Here. I guess we're gonna fight, run. Shit. Enough, all right, just shut it. Oof. <laughs> oh, baby girl, why are you subbing? Oh, Snow's gonna go. Yes, yeah, Snow, go for it. Yes. His son? Toads, I think. Oh. Be nice in there, okay? He's like, I'll think about it. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Huh, <laughs> Toad. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, Kill you know, him. false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. Mm -hmm. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Snow, go to him. Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, <laughs> really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. <laughs> I, I just don't want to waste your time, is all. You don't want to uh, get have a caught. Seat. Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? 
It has a weevil. Cool. Oh, he sounds like duck. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Why is that? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? He wasn't even plugged into that wall. Oh, I've got to step around that lamp. So the lamp came from somewhere else. Over here, maybe. Stain. What's up? Boy. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Mm-hmm. Someone climbed out the window. Dust ring. He had someone over. Now nah, we're just going straight, opening the window. Ooh. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. No, I there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plumb forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. <sighs> We're not gonna get a story out of him. We've gotta go talk to the kid, dude. Someone had a square off. What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. Mm-hmm. Ted. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding Definitely. something? Definitely. Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. Well, sure, see. Ted. I'm just gonna go straight to the kid. We already know someone was here. Busted latch, someone kicked open his door. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Toad. Come here, buddy. I just want to talk. Never been good with the feminine duties. <laughs> Own body stuff with my clumsy hands. 
Toad. Get tough I later, that's last resort. The blood. What, what, what do you mean? I'm not lying. I cut myself on the poker thing. Come on, you said you cut your foot, you said you cut your hand. And that much blood? Hmm, it's not adding up, buddy. Come on, Toad. Oof. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. I don't want to get what tough, because the kid might come out. So I guess we'll just look around more. I guess we need to look at everything. I don't really want to. Is there anything party catch, or is it just this? That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I'm oh, the up. lamp. Mm-hmm. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Fucking <laughs> cares. And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Toad, you literally have one more thing. Just tell me. The lock was busted. Someone kicked it in. And why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oof, a detective. Spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. I think I have to get rough of him. Busted. Hmm. Toad, come on. What's the story here? The story, Sheriff, is that this place is falling to crackers. Everything's broken and rotten and busted. Just where do you think that smell comes from? Can't buy that bit of lovely in a spray, can you? Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had the guy of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, come on, we both know. I don't... I cut me in. I broke the lamp. Okay, fine. Last resort. <laughs> this is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start- Dad! <gasps> That's what I didn't want to do! No! Oh, I didn't Baby, mean to scare him. Is this him. really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? Maybe, uh, maybe it, it got away from me. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman ain't. Or thought he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, 
but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? No, he didn't happen to mention his nightly <laughs> plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? <laughs> oh, so don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. You'll we'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. In the fireplace, Toad. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Mysterious objects. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. With my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. I want to open it, but then, like, I'm opening it. I'm, I'm curious. I'm sorry. Sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry. Faith. Was that it? What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Aww. I hope Toad's alright. Really? Smoking. Why does every detective, sheriff, or cop have to smoke in a game or show? I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. You'll be alright. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. He wanted he so needed the to speak. Now? It's the Lawrence only way. Is, yeah. It's our best lead. I mean, come on guys. Our you would have done the same thing, right? Right? When you put come on. I know you would. Don't lie to me. Now we're off to Lawrence. Lawrence's apartment. Early morning. I don't want to stay here time. any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Yeah, I agree. Come on. I thought that car, the blue... Why am I walking into the box? I thought that blue car was gonna kidnap Snow. I was like, I'm full beast mode, you know, chase after that car. <laughs> Doors open. I mean, welcome everyone. One and all. Snow, what's with that face? Oh, that's fun. You look dead for like a week or so now. Stabbed oh my in God. the chest? Oh, he's still alive. Hey, hey, stay with me, Lawrence. Gonna no. be alright. No. Let me go. He gets stabbed in the face? What is it that you're telling us? Oh. Water. Bigby, water. Kitchen. Oh crap, this is like, how do I, where's the kitchen? Ah, wool. Tap water, you sink. Quick me, grab something. 
someone jumps out at me right now, I'm going to slap them in the face. Drink, Lawrence. Speak, if you have Lawrence. Something to ask him. You should do it now. Oh crap! Did you hurt Faith? What happened? Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Yeah, we just need a name. We could figure out the rest later. Faith. What? <sighs> what? That wasn't helpful. Did she hurt you, or did you two have, like, connection, so if she dies, you die? Sort of thing going on. Ah. Do you still have that letter? Yes. I'm sorry, Faith. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. Aww. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Well, first off, grab that blade off the floor. Look at the knife. Oh, we can't pick it up. Ooh, new entry. Oh, should be for Lawrence. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? I think either way, he would have been stabbed if we got to him first or not. Did I do a bad choice? Touch blood? Okay, sure. We've touched a lot of blood in our lifetime. Still a little sticky. A few hours ago, maybe an hour ago doors busted like, why is every door busted I saw this one was kicked in from the out out to bed was he laying on the bed no pick up it's stuck to the bed a little my dearest faith I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Wasn't he a prince? He looks like he was living a rundown life, you know? Can I look at that photo? Don't step on his face, dude. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Yeah. She looks much different. Bullet hole. So he was shot? So he was shot then stabbed, right? Anything over here? No. What? I can't examine the bullet hole. I can examine Lawrence. Ah, uh, here we go. So there's a gun there. A shell. Pills? Okay, I guess we're looking at everything. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That obviously didn't go well. I don't want to pick it up. Let's just look at it. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Hmm. Huh. I guess we pick it up. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Hmm. 
Let's back out of that. Let's just examine that again before we go. Bullet passed through the chair. So I was right. Yeah. The angle works if he shot himself. I don't even... Mm, well, he did have a gun shot in the head. <laughs> What's in the closet? Oh, that gave me a heart attack. Stay here. No. That scared me. Oh. Hey, stop. Who are you? Leave me alone! Come here. Eh. Oh, D? Oh, crap. I missed it. Whoops. A. F. Q, 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 Q. Come on, I'm queuing! You. Knew it! Mate. I'm the best. Oh. I'm scared. <gasps> Big B, no. So he's above. Oh, well, that helps. Dusty freaking trails. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, we went for the window. Boy, how are we not? Ease up, Bippy. We're on the same side here. You, son of a bitch, make me run after you. Dude, what a wolf. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Then who did? Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. Who are you exactly? <laughs> I'm D, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can see for yourself. Mm, why would, okay. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. Who Kill him. hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> Mate, come on, we're meant to have better reaction time than that. Well, at least I'm not tweeted on D. Snow. What are you doing? Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Snow, come on. Come on. Did you at least get, get a up. license plate? Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Honey, you ain't going there. Calm down. 
At least we're getting achievements. Whoa. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. Then let's get a step ahead. Woodsman is the only lead we've got. And he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? Mm. I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Much more Bluebeard pimp. Pimp. Faith was in trouble. Afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Mm hmm. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Yeah, probably. Traffic hold up much. Snow, what did you say? Thanks I for wish you. there was. Oh. Sorry. Snow, where's your guy? Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. Just go. Snow, just it's talk, nothing. please. I just. Snow, spit it out. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. Mm -hmm. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Crane is the one to blame here, not you. Obviously you don't know what I do all day. Right now... I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. I'm more to blame than anyone. You'll fix it. Mm. Aw, Snow smiles. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bale, Warren, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Mm. Well, that's Close not enough. true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe New this fables isn't unlocked. For me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You could leave. You should get out of there. If it's as bad as you say it is, maybe there are better ways to get things done outside of the system. It's something I have to consider. Never took you for a quitter. We're not talking about me. True. Mate, you missed. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe I should. Bigby. Yes, no. I... Aw, the plane left over found me. Just be careful. Please. Go. it looks like you like Bigby, but... Same goes Where's your you. prince at? I will. Hmm. Ooh. And we're in the bar now. Ooh, 
a pool table. Can we play a game? <clears throat> oh. What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you well. can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Okay, boy with the purple black hair, you need to tell me what's up. Because purple's only for shading. Mm. Oh, I didn't even get to... Ch I was reading still. Glad you came in for that. Mm -mm. Oh, we can sit down and talk. Half empty glass. Matchbook. Let's examine. I looked. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> Why not, smart? <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. A word's getting out. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. What? You're standing right next to him in the photo. Let's take a seat. Pull up a chair, any chair. Come on, guys. Just grab a beer. stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? Oof. I don't like you. And now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? Customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? No. No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> Think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. Mm. It was all right. Come on, guys. Help I don't want to be here. You, you don't want me here. Really the sooner you answer my questions, mm. the sooner I'll be out of here. Oh, hello. Big B, get ready for a chase. Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Ooh, that smile, though. Mm. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. Yay, friendship. Now nah, it's gonna be me and the purple dude. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. I just wanna talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grant. 
Who are you? You like Rumpelstiltskin or something? It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. No, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. Why'd you do it? No bullshit. The same reason people do a lot of awful things. For money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. Ah. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are. Uh. Fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So this was robbery? You were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Oh, we're talking about She's different people. people thinking I'm Wait, so what, what does he do? I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. So he's he Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I... I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. Boy, I already you believed see? him, but now you're giving me Bigby, a turn. Please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Oh, I know it wasn't you. It was probably that dude. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lap dog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? Lapdog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Hey, calm down. Too. Who are you? Oh, good. What? Are you? Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh crap! <gasps> Woody, help me, bro. Eh, grab the mug. My spinal cord. Can't click it. My mouse sensitivity, <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to get a new mouse. Oh. Uh, you you look like a yeti. Oh. Ooh, that was close. <coughs> Boy, why would you even try? Ah! Clicking random buttons. <gasps> Oh wait, here's a fable. You can withstand that. He just looks like Rudolph now. I'm pretty sure I can't withstand it. I'm not even transformed. Woody, are you gonna help? They're beating up the freaking sheriff. Even her, she's freaking shocked. 
Oh, I'm transforming. <laughs> Big be calm. Oh, Big be stronger now. Good cop, okay. Brave, big V. Whoa. We need a drink. Whiskey. Honey, fast, quick. Double. Just give me the bottle. I love her scared shoes, but she's bigger than us. So alcohol calms us down? Really? We're good, okay. Woody, come back. You're not running away. Don't even think about it. We just calmed down. You think you're gonna run? Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, I didn't tear his arm off. If you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. Oh. Uh. Alright, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Screw it. Kill him. Get him. Do it. Go for it. Who do we go for? I'll tell you what, we're going for Tweedle. Fuck, man. That's not necessary. Woody can run. Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. That's literally the line that everyone uses. Then you have nothing to worry about. Okay guys, so we've been going for 50 minutes now. Okay, so let's see how much longer we can withstand. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Boy, he's gonna get out. Damn it. Okay. What happened here? <gasps> Beast. Oh, we're zoned. So zoned. Someone. Something. Dude, woof, run! I swear if it's gonna be snow. <gasps> no! Liar. Liar. Lies. Lies. I don't believe you. Next time... We finished the chapter. We had something very special. 
Fish. Big be brave. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Oh. Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Yeah, Wait. crying now you are. The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. How are you do it yourself, okay? I found out where she's been staying. You shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You told him? Doesn't matter. Peace. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. <sighs> what did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end Whoa. of the end. Game crash. <laughs> Let's see if we can get back to the game file. <laughs> Play. We'll see what happens if. Can... Oh, okay, so I guess we don't know what happened, but I guess we're ready for episode two. How many episodes are there? There are five episodes. Okay. So, let's look at the extras, I guess, and then we'll end it. Achievements. Yeah, what did we get? The Frog and the Prince. Uh, complete, complete, complete. Episode 1, Faith. Oh no, a light snowfall. That sucks, did she actually die? Should we have caught the woodsman? Is it my fault Snow's dead? Who is in your who is your prime suspect? The pimp. Who are you? Who did you arrest? I feel like I should have gone after him. Oh no. Faith's dead, Snow's dead, everyone's dead. Of escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife Faith immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York, hoping to find aid in a community of fellow fables, but without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle on an apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. Their prospects. Oh, he's, look how dead he is. Dwindling Faith left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Now, without his wife for support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. Thought so. Tweedledees. Tweedles. The Tweedles. The Tweedle brothers, Dim and D, Dumb and D, are thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out the contracts in the Monday world without drawing suspicion. They are insep uh, inseparable as they are ruthless. Well, at least I got good cover. They do look human. Holly. Holly is a non nonsense kind of troll. Oh, so she's a troll. The owner of Timurashi is a human being. Blah, 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 blah. Grindel. Who are you, Drifter? Grindel. Grindel just wants to be left alone in the old days. Terrified Norse mate halls. Oh, Norse stories. Uh, okay. Grindel, I guess. Bluebeard. I just get the homeless in the in time to sleep with another wife for blah 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 blah. Big B is messy. In the days leading up to the Exodus, the Big Bad Wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in a black forest. These invading forces had driven off the Great Beast's preferred quarry, and their own flesh was rotten with corruption, hardly a suitable replacement. He made it his game to destroy the camps, devour the night watchmen, and disrupt the supplies trains while sparing their prisoners. One day he broke his ranks, their ranks and discovered a particular woman they had captured. Captive? Cap. Captive. Cap. Captured. They held captive. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Her skin was white as snow, but her hair was as dark as the night sky. He approached her, and she, and she, knowing no sword could match the giant wolf power, bravely placed her shackles in the beast's mouth. He freed her, but years would pass before the two met again in the Monday world. Ah, oh, so that's the connections. Where's your prince in all this, mate? Okay, I guess that was 
chapter one of The Wolf Among Us. It only took three episodes to get through. I guess I'll just do like an hour gameplay for each episode. Well, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!